Uh, hey then everybody, um, welcome back to part 2 of my Yale collection series. Right, this is a simple t-shirt here. John 3 verse, uh, sorry, John chapter 3 verse 16. It's a well known verse, so check it out in the Bible. I don't understand what I'm talking about. Right, I want to show you this thing here. This here was sitting above, just above here somewhere, and it, it was meant to, it meant to show this off. Um, this here was made by uh, beer can bushcraft. Now, you, if you can see there, I don't know whether you can read or not, but it says Yale. And he made it for me out of just say a, a Yale sort of brass end of a lock uh, on a wooden cross which I if you watched the previous uh, one of my videos I broke down it I couldn't believe it it was an unbelievable gesture and let's see if I still got it here yeah he made me a cross um, it's a bit different this is a wee sort of like an image of a, a, a man on it. Now this is made out of a key. As you can see the key button on it there. It's down that there, the key button on it. And he made that out of a key. And I somehow, I don't know how he plotted this on, but it's sort of like an image of, you can't see the face or anything, it's just sort of like a, I don't know what you'd call that there. Of somebody on the cross. Um, um, I, I like it. Um, so, right, I'm going to show you, as I say, more locks. There's seven locks here. Um, now, you, this here, you're going to see modern locks, and you're going to see vintage locks. This can be a mixture. So, this here is a seventy mil wide, hard to find, believe it or not. So I've actually tried to check them on eBay and I can't find them. I cannot find them. I can get them 50 mils, probably get them 60 mils if I checked hard enough, but I can't find them in 70s. Um, and that's a key bit on it there. Quite a bit. I think it was 6 pins or 7 pins on it. And there's a query snap out there, so there's. It's getting it back down again, that's the trouble. I had to put about a WB40 in that there because I thought the key was wrong. Right. More modern locks. This here is a brass Yale. I'd say she's probably around about the 50 mil wide mark. Beautiful lock, coat jack obviously, you can clearly see that there. Um, now there's three keys with it. Um, that's one in there. Right, let's see, I haven't seen these, uh, used these here in a long time. Oh, there's a snap out there, no, I thought they'd been dead check on them things. But, Right, I actually should be taking these rings off these things here, but before I start the video, but I never do. This is a beautiful cloak shackle brass one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, that's the bottom. Um, that's the original key, believe it or not. Some I don't have original keys, some I do. Ooh. See, it's such a long since I've used these things here. I don't even remember what I've got. But obviously, the, the, this, this is what I've talked about here early on. Your 50 mil. Right, this is a, you can buy these anywhere. They're about 10, 12 pound these things. They're not that dear. And... The reason why I've bought modern day locks is because 
In 10 years time they're going to become village or 15 years time they're going to become village and they're going to be harder to find and dear to buy. Because everybody seems to put the hand in the ear when it comes to yell stuff. And they are table lock and don't seem to do it. It seems to be yells. And I have stuff come from America at the moment, which will probably be here in the next month or so. And I know I paid double the price. And there's nothing I can do about it. For what I, I had to pay for them. Anyway, um, that's another thing coming, but um, I'm going to put this in every video. If there's anybody out there who's got yells, even modern day yells, like I showed a couple of modern day yells there. If there's any modern day yells um, or vintage yells you've got lying around, you might be a yell uh, in the lock sport, you just might have one of them lying out around with a key in it. Please, get in contact with me. I'll buy them off you. I'm happy to buy them off you. Um, or even three of them. Sorry, it's just an Oreo. I guess you know it when it's not got cable letters on. It's pretty modern. It's within the last say twenty years only. Say maybe even thirty years, but it's pretty modern. So, oh, this is a dead check off, isn't it? It is. Why is this not open up for? Right, because I'll, I'll, I'll put it too far in. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Right, uh, now we're going to get into a couple of vintage yields. So it's nice to finish off the video with a couple of vintage yields. If I can get into these stupid wee. You buy these wee things here and they're. They're great for opening, you know, putting the keys in and then putting them around the locks. They're brilliant. But sometimes it can be a nuisance to take off. Oh, by the way, this is... Um, I'm going to take a bit of that there. You can see it warded. I think it's called warded. Uh, oh, that's a brand new... That's, well, that's a brand new... I think it's brand new, that one. Aye, I see. Not the greatest thing, on, but aye, not bad. And um, now that there's what about forty mil, and you're gonna see the difference. Sixty mil to forty mil. This is the last one, by the way. Oh, my videos do run on because there's eight months and that there. Um, and that there is, you can see the yellow and tiny. You know the difference there. Um, big key for it. I don't know what type of thing this, this has. Oh, not bad. Oh. See, there's another seven different locks in my collection. Let's say they're going to be new, they're going to be old. Um, I'm going to be collecting them for, right, for as long as I'm going to be alive. As long as God spares me on this earth, I collect them. Um, and it's only the locks I'm not really interested in. So it's, I'm not even interested. I used to collect the Abus or the Masters. I'm not even interested in them, even in them there anymore. So... I, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to trade away. Um, I used to have 1300 locks, now I think I'm down to about 700 locks because I've traded that many locks away. And I, by the way, enough of what the waffle on. Um, mate, I will talk to you again sometime and you take care of yourselves. Right, bye bye.